Mr. Muriel, you and your sister have petitioned the court to order a DNA test to prove that you are not the father of the defendant's 18-month-old son, Zadrian. You have always believed you are not the father and are hoping the court grants you the test so you can prove your case. Is this correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Redmond, you say you are tired of being a single mom. You didn't make this baby by yourself and state there is no reason for a paternity test because the plaintiff already acknowledged he was the father by signing the birth certificate. Is, is that yep. correct? Yes, Your Honor. So this court must decide through testimony if there is enough evidence to order a paternity test. Let me start with you, Mr. Muriel. Why is this DNA test so important? Well, Your Honor, uh, first of all, I'm a young entrepreneur. I'm 22 years old, and uh, I'm looking to expand my brand. And with this lady here got, putting a child on me, it's like stopping me from leaving and going to do what I want to do. So I'm like really stuck and I need the answers because it's not my child. And so you say that this young woman is putting a child on you. You signed the birth certificate. Yes. Your yes. Honor. No. Uh, no. His what, what, uh, there. The, no, no. The point is this. You're, when you were at the hospital, did you believe the child was yours at the time? No. You did not? No. And so, okay, so you, you got this opportunity and it was time to sign the birth certificate. You went and did it. Why? Because I felt very pressured. Like, everybody sitting there looking at me as far as, like, her but family. his mom was there. His mom was there telling him the baby looked just like you. Ain't no denying this baby. Was your mother present at the birth, Mr. Muriel? No. Yes, she was. You, no, she so you wasn't. Don't. No, she wasn't. Yes, Neither she was, was I, or I would have never... His I would have never advised him to sign. when I got suited up no. to my C-section. No. Okay, so listen. Mr. Muriel... Zadrian Sherard Morell. You chose that name. Not me. You chose that. You put his name, your name, as his middle name. Mr. I'm Muriel, hold on, hold on now. And, and the child also has your last name. Yeah. And do you understand what being the legal father means? Yes. You do. So you now know that once you sign it under the law, you are that child's father. Even if you're not his biological father, you're still the legal father. Mm, okay. okay. And then... You would then have to, if, depending on if I order this paternity test, if we have enough evidence, you know, that's something you'd have to deal with in your home state, but this is something you should know. And this is the part that gets me, because young people, you all so busy engaging in adult activities, but you don't know adult laws and facts. I yeah. Well, I told him that no. before, and I told him but he also needs a real DNA test. But in the hospital, like, nephew, nephew, why didn't you name him Sherrard? Nephew. Lies. That was you. So you're saying people oh. were acknowledging this Lies. child? Yes, she called me well, where's on his the phone. Talking about, nephew, why didn't you name... And then his nieces and nephews, her kids, were asking, why did you name him Zadrian and not Sherrard? <laughs> and because I wanted him to have his own name, but I let Sherrard put it as the middle name. I didn't choose that. I no. just let it... I just did it. I didn't, he didn't choose, choose that at all. I didn't pick name. no names. I chose the first name. I made that up when she I was wrote. about three months pregnant. I had that. So my point is this. I, I, you are trying to present enough evidence to warrant me ordering a paternity test. Correct. And what I'm trying to figure out are where are the doubts. I mean, as it stands right now, it's like you were in the hospital, you signed a birth certificate, you said you did it because you had doubt. Now I need to know proof of that doubt. Mr. I wasn't even Muriel. there. Yes, and I believe she was with other okay, people. Okay, you I say you weren't even there. Give dude. me the facts surrounding that. You weren't there. I weren't there. I was here in Atlanta, Georgia, trying to pursue my dream. All right. Hold on. I want to figure, I, out I, I, on. I wanna figure this out. Because you're saying you're here, you're there. And he was here New Listen, Year's Eve. Let's try to party. figure out the actual date of conception. Okay. Zadron's date of birth is what? September 15th. September 16th. Okay. She don't even see that. I got the year and the date mixed up, okay? Yeah, Why does your brother okay. know my son's birthday if that's not his baby? It's okay. Why'd he sign my birth certificate and give but him the middle name if it's not his baby? But why is he still after he signed it? Men, if they stick firm with what okay. they do, okay. ladies, 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 let's get down to the bottom of this. Mm -hmm. Zadrian was born September 16, 2015. Mm -hmm. Right? If you hit calculate... The window of conception would be December 18th mm. through December 23rd of 2014. 
The question I need answered is where were you between December 18th and December 23rd, 2014? You know what? Time out. I don't know where he was on them dates particularly. I'll give him that. He could have been wherever he wanted to be because that's where he So it is your been. testimony that you don't know right. where Not he was those December couple dates 18th that you're through giving the 23rd. Me, but by the 26th, he was yeah. here. Because right. we, went, we went New Year's Eve shopping together. He was at the same... We were at the same New Year's Eve party together. Party. He is that me, true? He took me home. Drink. Cause I was drunk. He don't smoke. He don't, don't drink. He don't, he wouldn't doesn't mean you weren't at the party. I don't. Party. He don't party. He be at the club with you too. He I mean, you just like the other out, dude. So I really don't care though. He I mean, look just like I do the other care. Dude you I'd like with. him to get his closure and his sister to be quiet. Uh. So I love for you to do this today, Your Honor. Please do. Before I give my judgment as to whether or not there is enough evidence to order a paternity test, I want to hear more facts that relate to the doubt in this case. Okay. She got caught with a whole nother dude that she's saying she was at her friend's house. This is what happened from the beginning of the story. I'm in my city, Lansing, Michigan, riding around. Pull up to one of my boys' house. I leave there. I see her vehicle in a neighborhood she's never in, mm -hmm. you know? So I pulled my car back to wait. Basically, I watched. I sat and watched who house she was about to come out of. I don't know whose house this is, and I'm trying to figure it out. And she wasn't answering the and phone. And she wasn't answering the phone or text messages. So I pull up behind her once she comes out and gets to the car. And I'm like, w who house is this? Who house was you just at? She say some girl name. I said, all right, go get her. Show me. Show me who you're talking about. She's like, no. I'm like, no. All right, I'll go get her myself. We weren't together. So, I didn't so, have nothing so, to do. So, so, no, no, no. Hey, let's look. So I said, I'll go get her myself then. So she gets in the car real fast, turn around, skirt off. Okay, it's something going on then. So I knock on the door. A dude answers the door. So Ms. Redmond said she was You're there to visit dude. a girl, but you know there, was, there wasn't a girl in there. There was no girl. Where's she at? Right. So this is the issue. You all are... The issue is one minute she says he's the dad, one minute she says that he's not in. No, that's he's, trying to, he's trying to that's live his life. Issue. So that is you. That is one you getting caught right down the street with no. That's you on Snapchat saying, look at Zadrian playing with his dad with the same guy he, she got caught at the house. Right. Time out. Right. Hold on. Time out. Time hold out. Hold on, Miss Redmond. Is... Hold on. Now, oh, yeah, Ms. Mask is there has, heavy? Hold on, Miss Mask has asserted that you were on Snapchat yes. talking about someone else was Zadrian's no. father. Never. Yes, yes. Zadrian playing with her dad. Zadrian's playing with his daddy. Look at um, Am I daddy and the kids. Are you gonna answer for me? I would like. Girl, you I would like to hear a response. So I would like, girl. So anyway, trust me. like I was saying. Trust um, me. Yeah, you're right. It's been a year and a half. My son is, like you said, 18 months old. I don't even talk to him no more. Why are you pulling up to any house that you see my vehicle at? What business do you have? Were you on Snapchat with a video no. saying this? Oh, time out. Lying. Time time out. Out. She's lying. Did I ever say look at him with his dad? No, I've never. I don't believe I've ever posted him in the boy you, guy I, I was talking to. Did he catch me riding in the car with him? Yes, because that guy was the guy I was talking to. But you to. lied. She's, and I had to pick my son up from daycare. I'm a single mom. But listen, I don't have time hold on. So now, wait, mom. wait, wait. So now we're in court, and you're saying. Did he catch me riding in a car? With a guy, yes. With a guy, yes. The same guy. She told me Is that the same the guy when he went up to the house yep. and opened the door? Mm -hmm. But this is the person you believe is the father. Uh, Zadrian's father because you say there's a striking resemblance. You say when you opened yeah. that door, it looked just like... Yeah. I guess yeah. every... The person I, every guess what? To. The reason why he said that was my son. He said, oh, that man is light-skinned. That's probably your baby daddy. Oh, I could name a few of y'all that light skin. I guess they are my baby daddies in here. <laughs> because every, they, there's more than just one person light skinned. But so, this is the point, Miss. I mean, she has Ms. told Redman, me I'm not this, the dad. This, 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 is, this is the point. Period. Like. Period. She told you you're what? I'm not the father. Multiple when did she times. say Why would that? Why say that? She says that she said Talk it throughout. You the act whole like period of him being Jones. born. I do Talking care. about you're, you're not the dad anyway. I, I take him to his That's real dad. Said. You were there in the beginning. It wasn't until she stepped in his ear. Your wish It wasn't until she stepped in his ear that he started denying it. It was three weeks... No, it was Christmas time Net -net. that he started denying my son. And that's when she came up from Atlanta for Christmas. All right. Okay? So listen, listen. I've heard enough testimony. In light of what's going on here and the testimony I've heard, there is clearly enough evidence to order a paternity test in this particular case. And I am going to do so for Zadrian because we need to get down to the bottom of this. So after our adjourned court, you all are going to go directly to the laboratory and undergo DNA testing. Let's do it. Submit to it. And we will return back to this courtroom 
for the results. Are we clear? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Court is adjourned. I feel like I very much so proved my case. I'm excited for the DNA test. I'm ready to get this thing going so I can move forward in my life. I'm glad she did that. I need them to d zip it up. I need him to step up and his family to shut up so that we can all just move on and my son can have a dad and a mom and I ain't got to be both no more. I ain't making by myself. I'm excited she did this. We're reconvening in the case of Mask, Muriel versus Redmond. In our last court session, I found that there was sufficient evidence to warrant me ordering a paternity test. Since that time, you have submitted to DNA testing, and I have those results here for you today. Before I go to the results, is there anything anyone would like to say? Yes, Ms. Mask. Um, I just want to say that he is a good person. That is why he signed that birth certificate, because he's like, you know, it's all these women here, and I'm just going to do the right thing. And if he is a dad, then we'll make up for any lost time or money or anything. Anyone else? Yes, Ms. Redmond? Really all I want is um, him to step up and his family to step aside. He's the parent here. He needs to be making decisions on his own, like I've been doing. I mean, yes, I have support, but I mean, I don't have an option. I've been doing it. So all I want is him to step up and his family to step aside and let him do that. Stop steering him. Let him, he's grown. Let him make his own decisions on how to be a dad. Don't keep trying to play dad, because you're not. You're not mom or dad. You're aunt and grandma. We mom and dad, let us do ours. And you guys just fall in, like. Well, listen. I mean, his sister is nodding affirmatively, and we have not yet established um, whether or not he is Zadrian's biological father, but there's truth to both sides. Um, you know, you all are young, but if you're bringing children into the world, you have to grow up and you have to be parents. Mm -hmm. At the same token, um, I have a brother. I know what it means to be a sister. Mm -hmm. I just have one brother. I'm very protective over him, and he's my big brother. I'm seven. I no. mean, so, so you get it. And I, su I support her. Exactly. Supporting so, him. So I think but... this is an important moment when you both acknowledge what the other side feels. But, yeah. but I just want to make it very clear that he's a good man, period. He's, he's yeah. doing his thing as he's not a bad... an individual, so... He is a good individual, but yeah. he's not being a good dad that I need him to be. I don't... I don't care. I, I address you're a good individual. You're doing your thing. But I need you to be a good dad, too. I need both. Well, let's get the results. Yeah. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics. And they read as follows. In the case of Mask, Muriel versus Redmond, when it comes to 18-month-old Zadrian, Muriel. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Muriel, you are the father. <laughs> you are Zadrian's father. Okay. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel okay about it, you know? I'm gonna uh, do what I need to for him. And that's really it. It's a huge responsibility. Oh, yeah. That's the only reason why I want him to get the test, because a child is, oh, serious. Yes. It's serious. It's not nothing to be running around, like, pretending you to dad, or one, one month you're to dad, the next minute you're not. So now you know for a fact, even if she gets upset and says it, or which she shouldn't anymore. When's the last time you saw your son? Like, I believe like a month ago. Just a month ago. Yeah. We're hoping that we won't wait another month. Right. We're hoping we won't let things go for months at a time. Um, Ms. Redmond, your testimony has been proven in court today that he is Zadrian's biological father. But this is not gonna come together like a little beautiful Tiffany box with the bow. Mm. My mm. mother always told me every battle 
isn't worth the fight. Miss mm -hmm. yeah. Greer, you are the mother of one-year-old Lanaya. You say you regret cheating on the defendant, Mr. Thompson, as an act of revenge to hurt him. Yes, sir. Because of the mistake you made, you now claim you have no clue who fathered your child. Mr. Thompson, for the first six months of Lanaya's life, you took care of her, you bonded with her, because you were told she was your daughter. Yes, Your Honor. Then you had your heart ripped apart when you learned through a posting on social media that she could be another man's child. Yes, Your Honor. Now, that man is waiting outside of the courtroom and will be joining us momentarily. Ms. Greer, yes. why did you wait six months to tell Mr. Thompson he may not be your child's father. I found out that he cheated on me. And I wanted to get revenge. And, um, I met this man on... on a dating website. I slept with him. And... I found out I was pregnant. And... <sighs> I didn't have nobody. And I just wanted to do it. And you didn't use protection even no. with a man you barely knew? No, ma'am. No, Your Honor. Mr. Thompson, so how'd you find out she was pregnant? Um, while I was in Tennessee, I, me and my family had moved to Tennessee, and all of a sudden I get a Facebook message from Ms. Grill saying that she's pregnant, and I told her that she was lying, that I didn't believe her, so I told her to send a message of the pregnancy test that she took with it, and she did, and after that, me and my family had moved back to Atlanta, Georgia, so they can help me take care of my child because... because it was my first child, and I always wanted to have a child ever since I was little. All this time, you find out she's pregnant, you had no idea she had slept with somebody else even though you cheated? No. You knew nothing? No, I never knew she cheated. She never told me anything. You were there for the birth, Mr. Thompson? Yes, and I have proof right here. What do you have? Please pass that up. When she was... When we was in the hospital after she had the baby, and as you can see on the picture, I was exhausted because I was up with the baby all night while she was sleeping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you are. Both of you all look tired. That's about how you look. So you were there through it all? Yes. This very moment where well, you're exhausted, you all been up all night, and yet you're excited and joyful, you have no clue... No, Your Honor. ...that she had slept with another man. I didn't know nothing about it. This one... This after I cut her umbilical cord when she was in the hospital. Would you, would you like to see it? Let me see that, it? please, Jerome. So you stayed at the hospital, you cut the umbilical cord? Yes, Your Honor. I was there until she left. You stayed until the baby and, and, and her mom was... They were released? Yes. You were there? Yes, Your Honor. And after they got home, have you been there? Oh, she's beautiful. Have you been there? Your Honor, after she left the hospital, she moved in with me and my family. Oh! So, after you left the hospital, you and baby Lanaya moved in with him and his family? Yes, because I didn't have nobody to... Move. I didn't have no family that who cared about me. I was moved to foster home to foster home, so it was, like, really bad for me. I really couldn't trust nobody. I didn't have anything. I still don't, but I try. I try for my child. So, when did you find out? When one of her family members posted it on Facebook about that the baby... the baby's not mine, that it can be two other people I guess she was sleeping with. Wait. Her family member posted this on Facebook? On my page. On your page? <laughs> After you've been at the hospital with the baby and everybody knew how excited and happy you were? Yes. Why would somebody do that in your family, Miss Greer? That was jealous. And so you... You didn't say anything until Lanaya was six months old. That's when you told Mr. Thompson? Yes, ma'am. Six months. So that's six months of him believing that's my daughter? Loving her, bonding with her, caring for her, providing for her, his family loving her, six months. What made you tell and why'd you wait so long? I didn't want to ruin the relationship that we had. 
And when I told him, he started crying. And it made me feel bad because, you know what I'm saying, this is a man I love, and it just like, it just tore everything apart. If your family member never posted this on Facebook, would you have ever told him the truth? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Until she was a year old. When she was a year? Yes. And is that because you felt like, let me get him get attached to her so that he can't walk away from her, then I'll tell him and it won't matter then because he'll always love her and be back in love with me and everything be okay? Yes, Your Honor. The stakes are high today. You really love this baby. Yes, Your Honor. And you I have really a bond. Yes. You've been there. You changed the course of your life. You were living in another state and turned around and headed back because you wanted to be there for the child. Then you followed through on that intention and you were there through the birth, provided a place to live. Your family did, at least. Yes, Your Honor. What does this mean to you to not know whether or not you really are the biological father? Well, it hurts me a lot because I really want to be her father because I've been taking care of her finna be two years. She's been living with me for the last three months. She's been living with you? Yes. And where's Miss Greer? She lives with you all too? No, she no. lives with my brother and his baby mama and his family and her family. Oh, wait a minute. So you have had the baby Lanaya at your house with your family. And she's living in a different house. Yes, yes Your Honor. So you really have been full-time dad. Yes, Your Honor. And so if baby Lanaya <laughs> is not your biological child, what are you gonna do? Because this baby, she believes you are her daddy. Yeah, uh, all she knows is daddy, so I... I wouldn't know what I would do if she's not mine. Jerome, I think it's time we speak to the other possible father. Please escort <laughs> Mr. Tolls into the courtroom. Oh. I'm gonna have you go up right next to the judge. Watch your step. Hello, sir. Hello. Thank you for joining us today. Mr. Tolls, am I correct? Yes. All right. You have had a relationship, a sexual relationship, or what type of relationship have you had with Miss Greer? Let me start from the beginning when I first met her. Okay. It all started when I met her on the website. We was talking for a minute, and then after a week, like a week of talking, she came over to the house. Uh, she already knew that she just want to have fun and it wasn't uh, nothing serious. Okay. We ended up having said she was kissing all over me. After that, I know she had her pants off. So... Okay, I need detail, but not that much. Okay. Uh, so, bottom line is you all did have sex... Yeah, we had sex Without on, using protection. We had sex on the floor. The first time, we used a condom. Okay. The second and the third time, we did not use a condom. She stayed over my house the whole weekend. In some kind of way, her and my sister became close friends and ended up hanging out and conversating with each other. Okay, a few weeks after that, I found out she was pregnant. She told me she was pregnant. I asked her, was it mine? She said, no, it was um, her boyfriend, Mark Thompson, which I did not know she had a boyfriend. So she, you had no idea no. Mr. Thompson was her boyfriend? No, she, she's a compulsive liar for once. She lied about her age. She told me she what was... I, I'm she not told, lying about my age. Yes, you did. I told her I was yes, 18. Yes, you did. She told First me all, she was 21. I found out she was 18. You a liar? Then she told me that she didn't have a boyfriend. I found out she had a boyfriend. When she told me she was pregnant, I asked her, was the baby mine? And she said, no, it was Mr. Thompson. So I left it alone. A few months later, her relative calls me and inboxed me on Facebook saying that they think the baby mine because it looked like me. And I told her to send me a picture. I have evidence of the picture. Let me see. This, this. is my son and Lanaya. 
They look kind of look like twins on there. And how old is your son in that picture? Two. And then this is Lanaya. Yes. And now you have another picture. This is a picture this of is you. Lanaya and me. And Lanaya. Yes. Now, when you look at that picture... I don't see no resemblance. You don't see it. And so, you are truly doubtful. You don't know what to believe. I don't know what to believe because she's a compulsive liar. She said that she, uh, he, uh, Mr. Thompson was her boyfriend that I did not know about. Then comes to find out around the time that I was messing with uh, Miss Grill, I found this on Facebook where she hooked up with another dude. What is it? That's not me in the picture or Mr. Thompson in okay, the picture. Okay, but Ed, that's my, that that's my ex boyfriend, so. Baby father. He's not Lenaya daddy. And so what? Okay, so you see this picture posted with true love by it. <laughs> so now you think and... there's a third possible father. Yes, and I, I don't really? had I don't have her relative really? telling me that I need to get custody of the baby if it's mine because she's an unfit parent. She's a child of herself that can't take care of herself. I try. So how do she I try every how do day. she gonna take care of baby? How you gonna tell me I know I'm an unfit man? Miss Greer, man. this man in this picture, you say that's your ex-boyfriend? Yes, Your Honor. Were you in a relationship with him during the time you also weren't having sexual relations with Mr. Thompson and Mr. Tolles? No, Your Honor. So there's no way when I read these results... No, ma'am. This no, young man is gonna factor in. <laughs> no, or any honor. other man, for that matter. No, Your Honor. You're positive one of these two men... Yes, Your Honor. As I was looking at TV one day, I seen that it was an app that can tell when your baby was conceived. And I put in Lanaya's date, and you can flip through the next page and see that the date that's up there, I was not, I was not in Atlanta, Georgia at that time. Oh, Jerome, yes, hand me was. that evidence, please. Yes, she was. So, the baby was born on September 27, 2012. And if we hit calculate... Possible date of ovulation is January 5, 2012. Possible dates of conception are January 1st through the 9th of 2012. I was in. And you just said you were not in town on January 1st through the 9th. No, Your Honor. 2012. I I was in Tennessee. I think it's time for the results. <laughs> Mr. Thompson, as I look at you, you seem very nervous. Yes, Are you just I am. very hopeful? Yes, I hope she's mine. In your statement to the court, you said you really want it to be the father. Yes, I want to continue taking care of her. And you say it was your mother's wish. Yes, to have a grandchild. And when I look at her, I, I think of my mom. You do. She's beautiful. Thank you, Your Honor. Miss Greer, what are you hoping for today? I'm hoping for he be the father. He always wanted. He always wanted to be the father of my of my child, Mr. Thompson. Yes. Mr. Tolls, what are your hopes? I just hope if if it's mine, then I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do to get cussed. Cause I I got three other kids, and. I just feel like I missed out on her life. Is it mine? Are we ready? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. When it comes to one-year-old Lanaya and whether Mr. Thompson or Mr. Tolles is her biological father. It has been determined by this court 
that her biological father is. Mr. Thompson. I can see it in your eyes. Yes. I'm proud of you for stepping up to the plate even when there was doubt. <laughs> Mr. Tolls, I'm sorry that this did not turn out the way you had hoped. And Ms. Greer? Yes, ma'am. I am not sure what the circumstances are or were that led you to leave your child and yes. have her be raised by Mr. Thompson and his family. What I'm thankful for is that that, in fact, is her biological father, so she belongs there. Yes. Now, I'm not done talking to you both, although court is finished. Okay. So I want to see you in my chambers. Are we clear? Yes, yes, Your Honor. Court is adjourned. Ms. Clark, uh, you claim that you and the defendant Mr. Newby dated for only three months before you became pregnant with his baby. Uh, you say the relationship was moving forward until he left you for a woman you claim is old enough to be his mother. It is your belief that she is the reason Mr. Newby is denying paternity. Mr. Newby, you say the plaintiff was involved with another man at the time she became pregnant. You do not believe you are the father of her child and claim it has nothing to do with your new girlfriend, Ms. Faulkner. You also say, if the baby is yours, you will fight for custody because you believe the plaintiff is an unfit mother. Now, Ms. Clark, tell me what happened when the defendant left you. He left me for an older woman, and I feel that she put it in his head that it's not his from the beginning because she thought I was messing around with some dude at her party. And you did come to my house no, with another guy. Yeah, I wasn't messing around with you him. You were though. dry humping on the side no, of my house. He was just dancing were like you? this or whatever. On there the, was no dancing whatever. at that but party. Anyways, Let's get no. some order in the court. Now, Ms. Clark, first of all, before there was ever a Ms. Faulkner, you and Mr. Newby had a relationship. Yes. I need you to take me back to that. Okay, Your Honor, when I met him, you know, I was in uh, drug use, but, you know, we were together for three months. He, he was in drug use. <laughs> And um, when he left me, I felt abandonment because when I was younger, at 13 years old, my dad had hung himself because of drug use. And then five years later, my mother had died at, when I was 18 years old because of cancer. So when he left me when I was seven months pregnant, he, I felt abandonment and pain and agony. So... So you and, stuck a needle in your arm. So when I was three months pregnant, I, um, yeah, I went out and used. And I am ashamed of that because, you know, and then I went to jail, though, for three months. And while I was in there, I had time to think that I wanted to be clean for me and my son. You know, yes. so... <laughs> so when I got out, when I was seven months pregnant, I got out. We were going to be, a, you know, have a family. Mm -hmm. You know, so I was excited about that because I was felt that my son was going to have a father and a mother. And instead... We were not supposed to be... She, it's all wrong. All right, I so... I told her from the beginning, when she first went to jail, she would call me. And yeah, I would talk to her because I was thinking that the baby might possibly be mine. I've had my doubts from the very beginning. She's constantly lied. She's cheated on me with her ex, like, what, three, four times? No, only like once. Okay, okay. She would go to the store Mr. for like. So, you Mr. Know... Newby, she cheated on you with her ex during the time of conception, during that yeah. same? Before, after. Okay, but excuse me, Your Honor, if, you know, you had doubts about, you know, being a father or whatever, then why'd you have this picture taken with me with the first ultrasound and being happy with about being a father? Well, yeah, because if, if it's mine, I would love it to be mine. That's you two here with yep. a sonogram picture. Mm -hmm. But and then when um when I first got the ultrasound, when she was working at McDonald's and he was working at McDonald's, he was, she was putting in his head, oh, prove it to me otherwise, prove it to me I otherwise. I didn't say prove it to me yes, otherwise. Yes, you did. You were talking he, to he a guy He was showing a picture of the sonogram you to everybody talking, at said, work. You said, and I said, why otherwise. are you showing a picture of a baby you don't even know is yours? Yeah, you said, that prove wasn't it to a me secret. otherwise. And that wasn't a secret. I said it in front of okay, you, you, in front of him, and in front of his family. Miss Faulkner, I have to ask you. 
When he was showing the sonogram picture at work, were you in a relationship with him then? No, I was not. So why was it your business what exactly. he was showing? Because and I was a friend of his. Been and you're old enough. I have always been a friend of his. But you've yeah. always been a really good friend of mine. Yeah, but you're old we enough. My point is, is it, now, I want to hear more about this doubt. Mr. Newby, explain to me the other reasons why you feel like, despite this happy sonogram picture, this child may not be yours. Um, like, at first, when I asked about the DNA test, when we first found out she was pregnant, I was like, okay, yeah, I want a DNA test. She was okay with it. And then after the baby's born, I asked for it. She freaks out. She doesn't want to do it all of a sudden. Is that true, Ms. Clark? Yes, that is true, because I felt my baby was conceived the time that we were together. It wasn't conceived when I was with that other dude, because I was only with that dude for a week. But you do admit to cheating. Yes. And can you understand why Mr. Newby may yes, feel, I since you admitted that. to cheating, that there could be a possibility? I do understand that, that. and someone I told else him is. that I understood that. So why not but nip it in the bud with a DNA test? Because I felt, you know, <laughs> why? And then even after, like while she was pregnant, after I had left her, she had sent me a message from her brother's phone and a picture of a baby. I was at work at the time when I got it, and he was talking about he's an uncle now. So I was thinking the baby was born, and then I looked. Yeah, you know, I, had a I told everybody moment, at work. And I, I ran a home trying to get baby, a ride up there, but and she wait. was just playing. You sent him a picture of a fake baby. Well, it was a picture of the internet. It was on the internet or whatever, and I sent him the picture. But I was just upset and then she because questions why he, he had left me. You know, okay, like, he had left what me. What was your intention behind sending the picture of the fake baby? I need to understand that. Um, to see if he would like, show any interest of seeing his son because he wasn't you doing that. You showed him a picture of a fake baby as if the baby had been born. Yeah. Yes. A newborn baby. I got a picture on my cell phone. While I was at work, I showed my manager and ran home. I don't even think I yeah, clocked out or anything. it was messed up of just, me, you know... yes. It was messed up of me, and I just wanted to see if he would show interest or whatever, and if, you know, the son, my son was born, if he would show any interest in coming to see him or anything. Did he because show interest in coming to see him? She wouldn't let me go up to the hospital. No, not, no. Even when the baby was born, you, she wouldn't let yeah, me go. Yeah, because I told she you. She wouldn't let me go afterwards because I, I have a girlfriend. Yeah, I like, told you. She, he brought her to my doctor's appointment. That's disrespectful, okay? And then, and then I asked him, I was like, the day after my son was born, I said, you can come up here and see the baby, but do not have her drop you off or come to the hospital. He said, oh, no, I'm And what does it matter if now. I drop him off? I was the only one I willing care. to I give him a but ride. That's disrespectful. To see his own kids. I have that's... kids. I know what it's like to be a that's single mom. And I would not so be with Jesse if he would not take care of his responsibilities. Oh, if you that really wanted a father, that you would let him come and see the baby. That was regardless on who dropped him off. Okay, but my ex-boyfriend that left me for an older woman, you know, that's old enough to be his mom, is disrisrespectful to me to bring to the hospital. Don't hate because I look better than you and I'm older okay, than you, okay? Psych. Okay, okay psych. You but still anyways, look like you're pregnant right now, okay? I don't get what that. happened to it being all baby and Ms. water Fa waves? I don't care. Ms. Faulkner, I need to ask you. So, let's be honest. Did you ruin their relationship? Ms. Faulkner, I need to ask you. So, let's be honest. Did you ruin their relationship? No, I did not. This was way after they were over with. Was Jesse friends with your son? Yes, he was. <laughs> this is getting interesting. <laughs> Why is it that you're so certain that Jesse is not Ms. Clark's? I never said I was certain. I said that there was doubt. That's all I said. I was not there when they were together and having all of that. All I said was, if you're going to be there, you want to be sure, especially since he lives in another state, because she likes to dangle the baby over his head. Oh, you can see him when she wants to. He's going to need to know if it's his or not to have viable Let me remind you, though, on. that you told the court that you would never be with a man that, that did not, take, did care not of his kid. take care of his kid. That is right. So, if Mr. Newby has reason to believe that he could possibly be the father. He has Why been there. would you have any issue with him being I there don't. until he... Her son has been at our house. Out otherwise. Our house. Her son has been at our house. We have watched her son. Yeah, we have babysat for her. So that goes whenever, whenever he was holding up the sonogram picture, why'd you tell him to take it down? 
I didn't tell him to take it down. I said, why are you showing a picture of a baby? You don't even know if it's yours. See, that's disrespectful. But then, wouldn't back. the same woman that wouldn't be with a man that didn't take care of his kids, wouldn't that same woman think to themselves, well, he may think this child is his, and it's great that he's um, proud of it, and, and if he finds out later and you that know it's what, not, Honor? let him deal with it. And he, and if, I can, can, my mom. if I can, I mean, she can't be trusted. Money, that's how I yeah. feel. Now, Ms. Clark, how have you tried to get him in your child's life? I would call him and ask him if he can watch him or whatever. If he wants to see him, he said, I can't right now. I'm busy. That is not I true. want to take care even, of the baby. I tried taking care of the baby. You would not let me. You only buy, how many yeah. diapers have you bought? You only bought two packs of diapers. You and when, I, when we bought anything, stuff for so. the baby, she refused. She said, because Joanne got well, it, yep, I don't she didn't want, want it. None of it. Because I bought it. She did not want to receive the gifts. I bought the baby stuff, and she did not but want to receive it. it's not your it. responsibility. It's his Our and money father. is combined. Um, yeah. It's, it's together. together. There's a real relationship. It's together. not about the money. I don't care. But Mr. Newby, now, it is very convenient that you have Ms. Faulkner to kind of help you in your potential yeah, you responsibility. Your job, so. I want to know what you have done individually to help Ms. Nothing. Clark take care of the baby. What you have done individually to help Ms. Nothing. Clark take care of the baby? Nothing. Have you helped to provide financially? Yeah, when I could, yes. If she asked, hey, I need diapers, I would get them whenever she needed. From my vantage point, there shouldn't be a thing that you wouldn't do for this beautiful baby. There, there's not. That's what I'm saying. Like, I wasn't working, so when she would call me an hour before she needed me to watch him, like, you know, hey, my, my buddy needs me to help pull weeds, I can make some money. You know? Mm -hmm. As a father, if he's the father, he should want to take him regardless of anything that he has to do or and anything to would. spend time with him. We even wanted, know? we were, she asked him to watch him last minute. Jesse said, no problem, but me, but we're fixing to go swimming. She got mad and wouldn't let us take the baby because she couldn't go swimming with us. No, yeah, I didn't want them, go I didn't want us. them taking my yeah. son somewhere else where I don't know where but they're going. But if it's his son, why can't he take him? Because I don't know where you're taking him, and I'm the most of so anything. You got mad because you like, couldn't hang out with us. Why would I want to hang out with exactly. you? Exactly. Why did you want to come with That's us? What I exactly. Know too. So you were concerned as a mother that your son was going to a pool and he was so small. Yes. Now, could you have told them that, that I just really feel uncomfortable yeah, about I swimming? Yeah, I could have. But, but that's I'm not a mother always. with children yeah. of my own. I but but let's I be would honest, ever do is Walker, hurt a baby. You're not the mother of her child. But I would so not hurt so, anyone's so wait child. Wait one minute. Let me, wait let one me minute. state this. Wait I have one minute. a son that I have wait lost. Wait one moment. I would never do anything wait to hurt another moment. child. Wait one moment. You're not my mother either. <laughs> so now. Let me tell you something. I am a mother of a small child, and I will be very honest. I am married to my husband, and the first time my child got in a pool, I wanted to be there. And I see mothers in, in, in out here in the courtroom not in their head. You taking my baby to a pool? I don't think it was appropriate for her to want to go, but I would have said to you guys, hey, the swimming thing, he's so little, Maybe could we do something else? I just feel uncomfortable. That's it. I think, I believe, am I articulating your position right? Because okay, so I'm not father, seeing in this situation why she just wants to hang out with you all <laughs> at the pool. I don't get that. No. It is admirable that they want to take your son and include him as a part of the family unit and get him to know Ms. Faulkner's kids. Mm. Don't just come snatch him up from the father when well, he's really trying to show interest in taking him have, somewhere. And I have let him see him, you know. I took my son, I took my son over to their house, you know, but I don't want him going nowhere where I don't know about or going swimming without me or anything like that at three months old. This leads me to um, your claim that if it is determined that you're actually the father of her son, you would like to petition the court for custody no, of your no, child because you believe least, she's an yeah. unfit mother. Please tell me why you feel this way. How are you gonna be seven months pregnant and then stick a, you know, stick a needle into both of your guys' bodies, you know? Okay, but I Like, that baby had to go through now, that for no so... reason. She didn't even give him a chance. Now, Ms. Clark admitted that that was an absolute irresponsible exactly. action which was inexcusable. I heard her say that. I also heard her say 
that she has done everything she can to get clean. Now, have you witnessed her improvement? Well, yeah, it's court mandated. Of course, she it don't want to go back matter. to jail. Well, now, let me tell you, I've represented a lot of drug addicts when I was a criminal defense attorney. No court mandate gonna keep you from a drug when nope, you're addicted. Exactly. You have to make that's a why, decision that's... as a human being that you are gonna be clean. I'm asking you, have you seen a change in her at all as it relates to the drug use? Do you see that? Yeah. Then we have to applaud her for that. We have to. Well, yeah, I'm glad she's clean. I tried helping her as much as I could. And then I have to ask you, how are you doing? If you are potentially this child's father, I want to understand where you are in life as well. Mm -hmm. Are you working? Uh, no. I currently just moved. And you are looking for work? Yes. Okay. Ms. Faulkner, are you working? I'm fixing to start working next week. I just moved to Florida. Okay, two people that's fixing to start working got a lot of nerve about to snatch a baby from its mother, and neither one of you got a job. You've accused her of being unfit. Yes, um, she collects a check, right? Every month, uh, That SSI. don't mean I'm unfit. <laughs> what does that mean? Do I get, you can't yeah, take I care of yourself, checked? but... I do take care of myself. Of a baby. I buy, I buy all aunt. his formula. I buy everything he needs. I buy the plugs. Buys I, the formula. I buy him everything. <laughs> Sorry, in your she's eyes. just jealous. Like, in she your can't eyes. get over the fact that I'm not with her. No, I'm... it's not. I, I care less. I the would not. Of if you were the last man on earth, I wouldn't want to be with you again. Are you kidding me? Okay. You're worthless. She tries to break enough. the cycle. Are we ready to hear the results? Please. Because Please. I believe it's time for us to know. Jerome, do you have the envelope? I do. Thank you. You're welcome. These results prepared by DNA Diagnostics. In the case of Clark versus Newby, when it comes to three month old baby Richard, Mr. Newby. You are the father. <laughs> and I see you smiling. It's not a bad thing. You're happy? Yeah. Like, I never tried to deny him. I just wanted some clarity. You did deny him. So. I will defend him in this. He did not tell this court he denied him. He told this court he had doubt. Well... And that's what that. this courtroom is about. Better to know the truth so that you can operate under truth than to constantly in your mind have this small amount of doubt circulating and it may affect the way you treat this child. So okay. now we know. Your Honor, exactly. I have a question. How are you going to take care of him when you're all the way in Florida? That's what custody's for. Okay, but right? you're not taking my custody. With me. Yeah. Listen, this is a living, breathing, little person. You gotta get it together. I've tried working with her. I have not seen any evidence that you've presented that would indicate that Ms. Clark is an unfit mother. But I am a firm believer that fathers have a huge role to play in their child's lives. I want you to continue on your path I will. to healing I will. and being clean, and you too. Are we clear? Yes. Court is adjourned. Thank you.